common criticism of Bitcoin is since it's just code, anyone can copy it and create their own version, which raises the question, doesn't that make Bitcoin less scarce? It's a fair question, but the logic behind it is flawed. One of the most important aspects of Bitcoin is that it's open source software, meaning anyone can view, modify, and attempt to replicate it. You could take Bitcoin's code, change a small detail, and launch your own cryptocurrency. But that wouldn't make it Bitcoin. The real question is how much would your new cryptocurrency be worth? The answer in almost every case is close to zero. This is because Bitcoin is distinct from all other cryptocurrencies. It's easy to verify what is and isn't Bitcoin by running the Bitcoin software. And while anyone can create a copy, these copies don't inherit Bitcoin's value. This leads to a deeper question. If infinite copies can be made, why does Bitcoin have value? And I would say Bitcoin has value, specifically it's worth about $2 trillion worth of value today for a few key reasons. One is the entire concept of money exists to solve the problem of barter, which is the inefficiency of multiple monies or using multiple goods as money. Historically, economic systems converge on one tool that we call money to be used for savings and trade. The entire point of money is to converge on one best tool. So why is Bitcoin the best tool out of all the copies? First, it has the largest network effects. It's a $2 trillion asset that people hold all over the world. It's on exchanges globally. It has ETFs. It trades on the CME and CBOE. There's an enormous amount of software infrastructure built specifically around Bitcoin. It has countries adopting it, including El Salvador and now the United States of America. Bitcoin also has the most immutable and least uncertain monetary policy of any monetary asset. Its network effects developed because of its immutable monetary policy, which is a perfectly fixed supply. No matter how much energy, time, or resources are poured into mining, there will never be more than 21 million Bitcoin. Another key factor is that all Bitcoin were distributed fairly through proof of work. There were no handouts to anyone, no pre-mines, and no insider allocations. Every single coin was acquired at the current market price, whether it was purchased from someone else, exchanged for goods or services, or mined using energy and hash rate, at the market-based mining difficulty. This means that no one had an unfair advantage at accumulating Bitcoin. It's the most fair way to distribute a perfectly scarce form of money. These are some of the critical reasons why Bitcoin is superior to every other cryptocurrency, why Bitcoin is the one best money, and why it can't be copied. Thanks for watching everyone, and see you next time.